The Cool Contraption Guy with Tom Fox, workshop editor for Boys Quest and Fun for Kids magazines, presents Basics of the Traditional Method of Chimney Cleaning. The very first step to clean a chimney is to assemble the needed tools. While many of the tools you may already have, if you haven't cleaned a chimney before, you probably don't have either a chimney cleaning brush or the rods needed to use it. Before you purchase the brush, you must determine if your flue is round or square and measure it. The flue shown here is 7 inches square, which means you will need a 7 inch square flue brush. Wire brushes are best for masonry chimneys, poly is best for metal chimneys. You also need chimney brush rods. Rods are made of fiberglass, nylon, or metal. While fiberglass rods are flexible, you must have lots of flexibility in order to get into odd curves in the flue. Nylon rods are best. Of course, if you are going to clean the chimney from the top, you will also need a ladder. Other tools you will likely need are screwdrivers and pliers. When you clean a chimney from its top, there is danger involved, primarily because you have to get on the roof. Here it's especially dangerous, as you can see there is a little snow on the roof, which makes it exceptionally slippery. In this case, two men will be on the roof because one will be taking video of the other man actually cleaning. Here we will be using a step ladder so the chimney cleaner will be able to get to the top of the stone chimney. Notice the man that is climbing to the peak of the roof is using a rope. Using a rope here lessens the chance yeah. of slipping off the roof. Yeah, that's why we gotta keep them warm. Before taking the chimney cap off the chimney, yeah. it's often it's a good idea to clean the chimney cap. Mm -hmm. Now this of course can be done later, but sometimes uh, uh, one forgets it and in a hurry to finish the job. So it's a good idea to do it first thing. Notice Mark, the fellow who is cleaning the chimney, seems to be struggling a bit, pushing the brush down through the chimney. This is a good sign. It indicates that the brush is not only the right size for the flue, but also that the brush isn't too worn. It also in indicates the brush is likely scraping the walls clean of creosote. Remember, it's the creosote, the black su sticky substance that sticks to the walls of the flue, which is the fuel for chimney fires. Other than being messy and the cause of 25% of all residential fires, wood creosote itself isn't believed harmful. In fact, it has some medicinal uses. However, coal tar creosote isn't as benign and there's some evidence it is carcinogenic. To do a thorough cleaning job, push the brush through the length of the chimney at least three times. Four times might even do a better job. After removing the necessary screw so you can remove the stovepipe, take the stovepipe outside and clean it well. If your chimney, like this one shown in the video, doesn't have a clean out, you must take the soot out from the bottom of the chimney using whatever tools are best. Here we will use a small garden hose. This part of the job actually takes quite a bit of time. We will speed up the video now. Since we are almost finished, we will now slow down the video again. Can you go out to finish it? Okay. Everything's back, done back there? After putting the stovepipe back, the final step is write down the date you cleaned the chimney. Well, you can write this information down in a book. We have got into the habit of writing it on the wall next to the stove. The video you just watched shows the basics of cleaning a chimney from its top. Obviously, this is a dangerous method since you must get on the roof to do this. A safer and easier method is to clean a chimney from inside. 
I have a video out on my Cool Contraption Guide channel which shows this method. Before you climb up on a roof to clean your chimney, I would recommend you watch this other video.